got in today. Guess who helped me carry it up the stairs? The UPS guy. Kevin did it. What did we get, Kevin? You need to work those legs. Look at those scrawny legs. It's scrawny, look at this. <laughs> let's see, let's see. That's right, I got legs. Anyways, what do we get? So this is, uh, Wild's Old Drain is in today, which is pretty massive, actually. Um, we're actually, I think this is, Dan what are we on? Our pre-release is looking pretty good. Yeah, our pre-release is looking better pretty. than any of them in the past, like, year and a half. Yeah, typically this is the good one, though, because this one's we're back in school, summer's winding down. Yeah. Um, so it's... That's it's usually pretty good, but um, as far as orders online, it's, it's still pretty low. This is low for me. Um, I think everyone is still massively wall fatigued from Commander Masters and Lord of the Rings. And now Wilds and Green just continue to try to push the envelope. No one knows what's going to come next. You know, they throw all these, these what do they call, call these little showcase things? They're called like fables or stories? Or oh, like, I can't remember. There's like two or, of them in this set. Yeah, so it's just... My gosh. Everyone is just like, when you make everything special, nothing is special. And no one gets excited about stuff. So yeah. anyway, we have... Actual Mark collector boosters. They're not random, just oh, blank. Oh, you can actually mark them now? Yes. No, that's an outer case. The inner oh. cases sometimes are not marked as collector's boosters. So, so you have to kind of figure out what they are like. So what distributors will do is they'll write on them. And oh man, I've had people freak out when I send it. Well, the box has something written on it, or there's tape on the box. It's not considered a near mint case now. Get over yourself, guys. Stop this nonsense. It's a cardboard box. Yeah, you collectors are insane. You speculators are absolutely. Well, you know, what, 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 you're what? insane. You're insane. What's Go find something better to invest in. No. Go find something better to flip and quit like worrying about sealed cases and tape and stupid tape I can order from China. Yeah. This is with well, the post TM on it. I can get this exact same tape. I can duplicate this exact same box if I want to. Oh my to. gosh. Look how easy that tape yes. comes off anyways. It's just people are just nuts. There's no way you can authenticate this stuff anyway. No. It's just I uh, like the authenticated. There's my rant with it. I wish this like Who was it I got it. that authentic case that was literally all fake cards. Yeah, the Pokemon one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's the magic ones case, as well. Yeah. So that, that, that's sort of like, again, I don't want to offend people. I get people want to make careers out of stuff that they enjoy and stuff, but Jesus, I think the major problem with this industry and this market and this, yeah. um, just this whole vibe of this stuff is just the people that are trying to. Well, remember, they can always reprint God, there's better they things than collectibles. Yeah. Or, well, should we get this loaded utility, up and then come back? Utility, utility. Uh, I don't know. We can, yeah. We'll uh, we'll uh, start working on this, and I'll maybe we'll open some some product here and talk more about it. And again, I I pause if I offend anyone about what so their lifestyle choices and stuff. You get the raw Kevin with these videos of what I kind of kind of feel. Someone come down and give Kevin a hug. Yeah, Kevin needs a hug. Chloe, I need a hug. But yeah, so. All right. Yeah, we'll get we'll get this going and try to get as much of this out as today as possible. We will get to everyone. Because there's just two of us in this operation. You guys not gonna help? Technically, there's five of us, but they are more in the way than they are helpful. Really, boys? Really? And the echo in that hall was terrible, huh? Yeah, it is. Even hear me with that, but yeah, we'll got All a lot right. of work at Dow to do. Well, guess yeah, this part two coming. What I'm, is well, it, Kevin? Still, now we're noticing this. Holy, this did Wizard just screw up again? Gift bundle. I, I know they're it. gonna do a gift bundle for this, but these usually don't like. I don't remember. I, gift bundle. Let's about to find. I'll have to find. I that. don't know where'd you put Man, it. I don't know what do I do with it. I don't know. But let's Probably. just try and open this up. But this is kind of what happened last time. So yeah. a little bit of story about this is there was a big headache with Throne of Eldraine, um, because they named the bundle um, Theros of Eldraine. Yeah. And it got stuck in the warehouses forever. Not only that, it had a different code on it too. Yeah. And it was called Theros of El Theros of Eldraine. And they were actually gift, I think it was gift bundles is what we Yeah, I them. think so, because we was, never got them forever. Well, no, no, they just like, yeah, it was hard. And then all of a sudden there was like tons that they had to figure out what happened to them. And it was just this stuff. And so this is the same gift bundle. Like, I don't believe gift bundles are out yet. No, oh bundles. my uh, gosh. Yeah, they're just bundles. Are you serious? So again, this kind of stuff happens. So... That's what your case looks like. <laughs> it says gift bundles so on it, number, but it's the not. The number on it is, okay, so the number is supposed to be... Uh, a BP231291, not D, do unless you. there's a different code, because usually they do it in like the yeah. thousands. Well, oh, we'll check yeah, the ship, UP. Ship date, ship date 5, 5, 20, 5 of 2023. Like everything is messed up on this. What's the UPC code in this? Is it's, uh, is it 23210? 
No, not even close. Two three two. Well, two three oh nine. Yeah, two three. But I mean, they might have something different for the whole cases yeah, on this. But, but yeah, that's funny. So again, another screw up. It says gift bundle. These are not gift bundles. There are no collector pack in this whatever. So careful buying sealed boxes of. Uh, like I go back to my little sealed rant. There we go. There's a the whole thing. Careful buying sealed product. This is yep. not gift bundles. I don't remember a gift one with this though, was it? I don't remember. They always do random yeah. stuff Again, and are changing Wizards, everything. You have pushed it so much the stores can't even like I can't keep track yeah, anymore. I, I don't know what's what because it's just too much. Yep. It's, it's the product lines, the SKUs, it's just too much to like Oh, okay, we got this product coming on, this product. Like I've always hated gift bundles anyway. The di difference too. between a gift bundle and a regular bundle is the dice and there's one collector's pack. They're even too lazy to change the damn promos. Yep. So you still get the exact same promo pack as you do with regular bundle. The only difference is the, the outside case, the dice, and a, and a, a collector's booster. Yep. It's a pointless product. Yep. That was how I felt about, you know, even set versus draft. Um, you know, those types of stuff. There is enough difference between products to even matter. Yeah. So they need to do something different. My idea with draft is to really go WPN exclusive, use them for events, have all of the prize support in the sealed yep. boxes, and have them extremely limited. And that way you can have your uh shrinkflation happened with the price increase of sets with less packs and that will go to the masses we're the only ones that have magic anymore in town anyways speaking of walmart's is gone they have no more magic just pokemon and trading for and now they've got i wonder what happened they probably know. like they do that when they're stepped and we know the little thief in this town too yeah which is which is hilarious so, right yep. it, so all right well, should uh, we finish unboxing are you guys gonna be should we be just look can we just do this i know can we just do this let's what start, is this boys let's start like a just a doggy hangout place let's do it well people pay for doggy therapy yeah let's start a doggy daycare that's it we need to start another daycare in town anyway so let's yeah. start a doggy daycare you want to do it buttons okay sounds good we'll be right back <laughs> all righty so we're done as you can tell i'm exhausted because when we got this store we got a second level <laughs> and what that ends up doing is I get to do these stairs every time the shipment's going in and out. But we got it all done. There is the aftermath of the Wildsville drain right here. Boom. Lots of stuff. Oh, and that's what I get to do. Those stairs up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so yeah, Thunderville drain, a little bit of, or Wildsville drain, something it will drain. We got a bored puppy right there that's just not having it today. You just done, Bruce? Got some other bored puppies in here, wherever they went. Whew. So a lot of mess to clean up, but all in all, it was a pretty successful, um, yeah, the Wildsville drain is pretty successful. Uh, can't even talk, I'm so tired. But um, I'm actually expecting this one to sell pretty well in the scope of things. I think those lore cards or whatever they're calling them with the, you know, even though doubling season and all those things just got reprinted in double masters or commander masters, whatever masters were on, it still seems to be a pretty good product. And uh, we did still see some strong sales in the collectors. It seems to be that like all my sales are, are always headed towards collectors. I sell more collectors than anything. And then very few drafts, like people don't tend to like drafts and they're right. The value is just not there with drafts. And then we have, of course, bundles were okay. We have pretty slow on bundles. I actually like bundles. I think bundles now age the best. If you go back to like Kamigawa bundles or even like Midnight Hunt bundles, they've outpaced the bundles from, or for the, the sets of the, the draft boosters from that set. Now, the, the caveat with that is, is that you have to find a buyer. And I know that bundles are a lot higher, harder to find a, a buyer than something like, you know, set boosters or draft boosters, because that's when people are typically looking for a box, they're going to search for those. And shipping's a little bit easier on those type of products. But I still like bundles. I used to break down bundles. So how we do it too, is when I fill my little dispenser that has packs in it. I always like to break down bundles because I think the value is just there. Because uh, we actually sell these suckers for two bucks a piece. It's, and they sell like crazy here at the store when people just want... Um, little storage boxes. So this one's kind of a nifty looking one uh, with the Wildsville Drain. And then for set boosters, I end up just filling up the dispenser 
with a set booster that comes out of here rather than cracking a set booster to fill up the dispenser. And that way I get some dice to sell. These actually sell pretty good. And this one, this one is a, uh, man, they always like purple dice. Jeez, are they ever gonna go away from like these dark purples? Seems like every set they're doing kind of these shiny purple dice, but this one's actually pretty, pretty neat. I think it looks pretty good from the Wazzle Drain. So these suckers will actually sell, and we sell these anywhere from two to five bucks with the bundles. And actually, they sell like crazy. You'd be surprised at like, even non-Magic players will pick these up for other games. Um, this one kind of has a nice little look to it for like Lorcana. Um, so you could use this as your kind of lore counter for Lorcana. Um, and yeah, so all in all, the bundles I think end up being a pretty good deal just to break down. But I have been noticing on the market, on the secondary market, on the Ebays and TCG players, that bundles actually oftentimes age better because they are in lower supply and people, there is a whole, as I, I said in my last video, there's a whole market for people that don't want to overspend. They just want a few things. And so things like previous packs and bundles actually do have quite the bit of market. So anyway, so there is the Lich Knight's Conquest is the, the promo. Sometimes you can get some good promos out of these bundles too. Like Lord of the Rings, for example, had the one ring. So keep in mind, I don't know how well this one, sacrificing number of artifacts, enchantments, and or tokens or return that many creature cards in your, your grave of the battlefield. Kind of weird because if with like one, for, one more mana, it typically you can actually uh, um, return like two creatures. I mean, you're getting up to like um, the big reanimation spells at seven. Just get back in your entire graveyard. Usually every set there's one. But I mean, five, this is kind of cool. You can sacrifice some stuff and return. Uh, creatures back in the graveyard of the battlefield and of course there's these lands and this looks like it's going to be a foil land pack that will curl pretty soon we are still really humid here for some reason in the uh I'm gonna bundle where's my dice it's right there it's, it's a not purple even... why is zach so upset today he doesn't like to... i thought you didn't like to join camera what? Uh, he's gonna he's be... you're gonna open up a sap booster yeah uh but yeah where's the i can't you gotta focus what on else me. with this uh set seems nifty um, I didn't go all in on these suckers because they raised the price. Okay, I'll let Zach finish his thing. I, I didn't know what you were doing. I thought you were going to show him what's in the packs. Oh, we got a mythic? What is that one mythic? Um, I don't Asinine know. Asinine Antics. And then what's your Ooh, Yay, we season? got three sets in one booster pack. Season, no, that's oh. not doubling got a stone, season. Stone Nature's coil. Will. Wait, okay. is Nature's Will a rare now? Or I don't know. Was it? I can't remember. And then we got a Stone Coil because they cool. put that in the list, which is, I'm that yeah. old. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, list needs what to go away. It's just causing too many reprints to be into it. So uh, arena starter kits, these are something that looks like they're going to start doing. Not, they're not in arena, they're starter kits now. It looks like they've been doing these with most sets now. They had yeah. Lord of the Rings, they had it with this. Um, I need to do a video. Well, so jumpstart. No jump right? yeah, start's gone now. So I was going to do a video for the Rogue Market channel about how these arena starter kits actually are extremely profitable now if you break them down. Um, I'll get to that video for the Rogue Market. It's it's it's. It's on my to-do list to revive that channel as well as the Rogue Deck Builder and start doing videos over there. Again, I want to get this channel really consistent where it's, it's the one I'm having the most fun with, just talking about shop, just, you know, picking up the camera and randomly going. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I get that consistent, then I'll, I'll start working towards the other ones. But it'll be interesting to see if this one, I'm not sure what's in it, the Tyrant. And there's an angel here. I'm not sure what angel that one is, if that has any sort of value. And we have in, we have things like the Silverback Elder. So they did raise the price on these substantially. So the first time starter kits were like four bucks. They were dirt cheap because they wanted to use them just as a way to get um, stores to actually advertise Arena. And they thought, okay, maybe we'll take a loss on this. We'll get players to Arena. We'll get back when they actually join Arena. Obviously, it didn't work out because these things were just flooded and distributors had blown them out for pretty cheap. The next one was like six bucks to buy. So I think the first one with the vetoes were like four or five, then it was six. And then the next one after that um, was like eight or nine. And the Lord of the Rings, I think, was 11 as well, if I remember correctly. So they have increased the prices on these quite substantially. So I'm not even sure they're going to be worth it at this point. Uh, but I mean, this is what you get for starter kits. I mean, I was breaking them down too, uh, to give out free decks. So I just take out all the rares and stuff and put some other stuff in, you know, at that point. I mean, these aren't even going to, you know, players at my store. I just give them out on like parades and there'll be like an event coming up at the, the park and we're just going to just, we're just going to blanket uh, it with uh, free magic decks. And you never know if, I mean, they're all, it's all garbage in there at that point. And if people actually, you know, it does lead to someone coming in, then, you know, great. If not, whatever, we got rid of some, some bulk and still got some cards that are actually worth values. You can see like this one, like classification has buy lists. Um, Iron Skill Hydra is on a buy list actually from Card Kingdom. Land of Visionaries actually on a buy list. 
And so these suckers can, if you want to put in some elbow grease and get some work done, like you can break these suckers apart and actually make a pretty decent profit on them. But I mean, it's, it is definitely a grind, but there's you know, always things that can be done in the scope of things if you are looking for little ins and outs in Magic the Gathering to manage your collection or you know make a buck or two here or there. So yeah, wilds will drain. Um, again, we have pretty good signups for our pre-release here, which is a good sign, uh, which is, yeah, it's, oh, I can breathe a little bit easier because things have been really, really slow with both Pokemon and Magic the Gathering and definitely comparatively speaking to how the sales are going versus online. Uh, as I can, uh, I checked a couple days ago, I actually had a big conversation with one of the distributors. Uh, she asked me why our we didn't order as much as we have in the years in the past. This particular distributor I only use for Pokemon because they don't even carry magic or uh, they don't have flesh and blood. They don't have uh, one piece. They don't have Lorcana. They don't have, they don't even have a lot of like accessories like Ultimate Guard. And so it is kind of difficult to order from this particular distributor, but I did use them for Pokemon. And she kind of asked like, why my Pokemon numbers were so much lower. And the main thing was, okay, well go check out eBay TC player. There are people selling from 92 bucks. You charge me 105. How am I going to, you know, and it's not their fault. How am I going to make money on that? So it's still, we're still in this weird cycle with uh, uh, products. I don't even know how these places are, you know, making any money on eBay or TC Player when they're selling it that low. Uh, because even the best discounts I've seen from distributors uh, don't even come close to that. And I know there is a couple of distributors we have caught in the past that have been masquerading as stores. I won't name names here, but it's very suspect when they have a you know, one of their big warehouses, like a mile away from a, a, a major seller online. And, you know, Wizards and Pokemon have never done anything about it. I think they actually kind of like it because it gets things moving. And, you know, cheap products, I think, are, are they think, good for the brand because it just gets cards cycling through, gets people purchasing, uh, clears inventory. But in the scope of things, in the long term, I think it's going to be pretty bad for the health of the game uh, going forward when stores aren't allowed to make money and players that do pay you know, MSRP or, or buy them at even at like even the big box stores like Walmart Target end up feeling like they made horrible purchases when they then you know become a little more educated and then see what it's going for on the Ebays and TC players. So now I'm back to rambling again. I can't remember what this topic was about this. Um, but yeah, feels good to have Eldraine out of the way. I think we have what like brilliant lights coming up for flesh and blood next. We got some, you know, we do have some big releases still in other games. 151 from Pokemon. I know there's another Pokemon set that's coming out as well. Uh, but we'll get to, to it all and I'll kind of give you my my takes on those as the uh, time comes closer with those. So appreciate all the patrons and everyone that supported this channel. Um, hopefully all your orders got out. Great. No problems. If, of course, there is an error, just let me know. That's why I like doing business with Patreon because we can help each other out. I've, I've got, we, we actually used to sell on eBay and TC Player and man, it was a nightmare. Absolute nightmare with the fraud. Uh, the, you know, people, and, and people have to say, you have to just be okay with people stealing from you there. And, you know, just like, you just, it's just kind of write it in to your, you know, overhead of doing business there. But I mean, I can't stand, I can't, I couldn't stand all the fraud and all the, all the, you know, I think the, when I, the last straw, when I was with TC players, I had, uh, I had actually bought things from P TC player direct and kept them, kept them sealed in the little team bag that they sent me. And then the card spiked up in price and TCG Player Direct had, used to have a buy list. And it's like, they still do, but the buy list used to be a lot more streamlined than TCG themselves would be buying. And I buy listed it right back to TCG Player, sent them the cards that they sent me and they downgraded them all and said they weren't near mint, said they were like heavy played or lightly played or stuff. I'm like, you, you, you jackasses, you guys sent me these, you sent me these. With, with which were graded near mint. I sent you back the exact same cards you sent me. And it's just that type of stuff. I'm like, I hate the platform. I hate to even do anything on that stupid site. And again, maybe I should uh, reevaluate and start doing it more like I used to. I used to actually make a pretty penny with like, you know, speculating on cards, like doing this sort of stuff. Find like a bundle promo that was worth more than the bundle, you know, selling it all, rinse and repeating, stuff like that. But it's a lot of work. It's a lot of grind, a lot of headache. And I don't know. It's just feels like I'm just in a different place now. Uh, than I was back then to be kind of doing that sort of grind. But anyway, yeah, I'm really gra rambling now. Uh, Commander decks are now smaller. I'll have to show you those. <laughs> They've actually uh, reduced the packaging and then you can't even like read the card from afar now, which I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing. It'll definitely make my life easier for shipping. But anything else you want to add? 
before I we go? No, we've already talked for what, like 20 minutes Well, now? people wanted me to talk longer. Oh, so okay. you get, see, Zach gets mad when I talk for a long time. I don't care. And then other people are like, you get to the point, Kevin. And then other people are like, I love it when you ramble. So I can't even get it. Did you find one for him yet? A collectors? I don't know. We'll get to, we'll do a collectors. I'll be uh, probably live streaming tonight on this channel, another channel, if I can get away from the board game group. We'll see. Um, but I do have some patrons that want me to, you know, open up some product live. And what? Yeah, I'm going to have to use the camera. Why? Just like randomly aim. Okay, this okay. Yeah, I know I'm making everyone dizzy and seasick, but. It's all good. Um, that's a. Uh, yeah, geez. That's a. Uh, it's all she wrote for today. I'll cool. uh, be checking out those videos soon.